creative friends, it's Jane from Sustain My Craft Habit. It's the perfect time to add a little sparkling clink to your patio with a glass bead and mason jar wind chime. For this project, you'll need a mason jar, wires, scissors and wire snippers, and some assorted glass beads. So let's get started. You want to measure six lengths of the floral wires to about 20 inches long. Starting with one of the wires, secure a large glass bead to the end, and this will hold the other wires in place or from falling off. Now continue to add different colors and sizes of the glass beads onto the wire. You're aiming for about 10 to 12 inches of beaded wire in total, depending on how long you would like your wind chime. We actually found all these beads on some costume jewelry that we picked up at the thrift store. Once you're happy with the length of your beaded wire, secure the last bead in place to keep them all from falling off. Repeat this process with the other five wires until you have six strands in total. These will be the clanging, twinkling tails of your wind chime. Next, you will repeat this process with three shorter lengths of wire and smaller sized beads. So you want each of these three strands to be about six inches long. These three strands will become the hanger for your wind chime. Now it's time to put it all together. Cut one heavier length of twine to about 18 inches long or long enough to wrap around the neck of the jar twice. Starting with the shorter wires, hook them around the heavier wire and then in between those, place two each of your longer strands. Gather them together and then wrap the heavy wire around the neck of the jar. You can see here that I'm doing it twice and then securing it in place with the help of some pliers. Now you want to simply space your strands evenly around the jar. So for each shorter length of um, beaded strand, you'll have two longer ones in between. And now you just want to secure those strands in place and trim any excess. Next, gather together the tails of the shorter strands of wire and thread them through one large bead to kind of keep them all together. Next, wrap those tails to create a loop and then secure it. And this will be on which your mason jar wind chime is going to hang. Okay, now you're almost done. We just want to secure those longer strands in place by twisting them together um, around that heavier gauge wire and then trimming extra. You want to leave enough length of the wire so that your beads will be starting towards the bottom of the jar. You could, if you wanted to, also bead the empty part of the wire all the way up the side of the jar. We didn't have enough beads for that though. And then when you're done that, you just want to gather all of those beautiful beaded strands of wire together and tie them a bit together, not too tight. This is almost too tight uh, so that when you hang them in the wind, in the breeze, they'll have an opportunity to sway and clink together. You could fill your jar with pebbles like we did just to make them look pretty or even candles or sea glass or some sand, even flowers, anything you'd like. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more nature inspired DIY craft and home decor ideas. Thanks for watching. Bye.